The Human Genome Project was an accident as far as I was concerned. What I really went for was the genome sequence of the nematode, Cenoroditis, which I worked on. As a result of doing a great deal of sequencing on this little tiny worm, we learned, that's to say my lab and Bob Waterston's lab, to sequence rather well. And so we got incorporated into the Human Genome Project. We were part of it. I always felt that this was a big thing, it belonged to everybody, and we should do it together. Not everybody agreed with that, but in fact our consortium, the International Consortium, felt this very strongly. It actually goes back to Jim Watson as much as anything, the, the philosophy behind this, the fact that it should be international, should be open, everybody should be involved. It also fitted very well with, with me because I, through working with the nematode, had learned myself how important it was to share fundamental information. This is not like an individual science project, you know, like finding out how something, how a particular thing works or finding out how to cure a disease. It's not like that. It's collecting fundamental information and making it available. Therefore, it's obviously extremely important in this area more than any other to be open and share everything.